Over four decades of thrashing brilliance, Overkill has carved out an unbreakable legacy in the world of heavy music. It's time to honor their journey and explore the evolution of their signature sound. This is OJ from GhostColdMag.com. Join me on the epic sonic voyage of Overkill. Overkill is an American thrash band formed in 1980 in New Jersey. The group was founded by vocalist Bobby Blitz Ellsworth and bassist Dee Dee Verney, who remain the band's core members to this day. They are considered one of the pioneers of thrash metal with their distinctive punk-influenced thrash sound. Their aggressive sound and high-energy performances have earned them a dedicated fan base. Throughout their career, the band has undergone several lineup changes, but that hasn't stopped them from releasing new music and touring the world. Here's a quick overview of their discography. 1985, Feel the Fire. Overkill's debut album introduced their raw and aggressive thrash metal sound with tracks like Rotten to the Core showcasing the powerful vocals of Blitz. 1987, Taking Over. The band's sophomore effort displayed a more refined sound featuring tighter arrangements and memorable tracks such as In Union We Stand that further cemented their presence in the thrash metal scene. 1988, Under the Influence. Overkill experimented with different tempos and song chunkers while maintaining their signature aggression on this album resulting in dynamic tracks like Hello From The Gutter. 1989, The Years Of The Kid. A fan favorite, this album brought a darker, more atmospheric tone to Overkill sound, with tracks like E! Lemonation exploring themes of destruction and despair. 1991, Horoscope. Marking a new era for the band, this album featured a heavier, groove-oriented sound with standout tracks like the title track, Horoscope, and Coma. 1993, I Hear Black. Venturing further into a more experimental groove-based sound, this album includes tracks like World of Hurt and showcased the band's willingness to evolve and take risks. 1994, WFO. Overkill returned to the thrash metal roots with this album, delivering aggressive tracks such as Fast Junkie that reignited their fan base. 1996, The Killing Kind. Combining elements of thrash and groove, this album offers a fresh take on their signature style with songs like Battle. 1997, From the Underground and Below. Continuing to explore and experiment, this album featured a mix of thrash, groove, industrial elements and tracks like Long Time Dying, and my personal favorite, It Lives. 1999, Necroshine, showcasing a diverse range of styles with this polished production. This album included tracks like the title song, Necroshine. 2000, Bloodletting. Overkill returned to a more traditional thrash sound with fast-paced, heavy riff tracks like Thunderhead. 2003, Killbox 13. Combining elements of classic thrash with modern production techniques, this album featured a balanced mix of aggression and melody in songs like Damned. 2005, Relics 14. Cementing their status as thrash metal lifers, this album delivered riffs and anthemic choruses in tracks like Bats in the Belfry. 2007, Immortalis. Showcasing their ability to collaborate and push boundaries within the genre, this album featured guest appearances by vocalist Randy Bly of Lamb of God on the track Skull and Bones. 2010, Ironbound. Heralded as a return to form, this album received critical acclaim for its potent mix of classic thrash elements and modern sensibilities in songs like Bring Me the Night. 2012, The Electric Age. Building on the momentum of Ironbound, this album featured a consistent and focused thrash sound on tracks like Electric Rattlesnake. 2014, White Devil Armory. Delivering a collection of high energy tracks, this album saw the band refining their thrash formula with songs like Armorist. 2017, The Grinding Wheel. Embracing a more diverse and experimental approach, this album featured elements of doom, punk, and hard rock in tracks like Mean Green Killing Machine. 2019, The Wings of War. Showcasing a renewed sense of aggression, this album included tracks like Last Man Standing, highlighting Overkill's commitment to the thrash metal genre. This brings us to now, Scorched. The upcoming 20th studio album is set for release April 14th by Nuclear Blast Records. Thank you for tuning in to Ghost Cold Mag. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it both informative and entertaining. If you like what you saw, visit us at ghostcoldmag.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. We appreciate your support and thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, keep rocking with Ghost Cold. Peace!